What's up everybody, it's Skylar. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about body image. I'm a Korean American swimmer from Harvard University and I also happen to be transgender. So I got my scars in plain sight, I'm pretty much naked in my Speedo. Also the locker room's dirty, my bad. <laughs> it's not my stuff, but anyways. And I don't pack. For those of you guys who don't know what packing means, it's putting something in your underwear, in your Speedo, in your pants to make it look like you have a bulge when you actually don't, make it look like you have a penis. And I don't do that. Um, it's just something that I've never felt the need to do. I have always felt like my masculinity was secure in who I am and not in my parts. Um, I don't need a penis to be a man. Um, and that's just me, but I don't. And so uh, so I haven't packed. And it's just more obvious, I think, when I'm in a Speedo, right? When there's, there's just, there's nothing there. And people are often like, well then, everybody's gonna know that you're trans because you don't have a penis and people can tell. And the reality is people don't usually register that as me being trans. They think, oh, that guy's small. Um, or they don't notice. I think actually most people don't walk around staring at my junk thinking, oh, like, does he have a penis? And trying to figure out what's in my pants. I'm sure that some people do, but you know what? Those are the, like, those are the weird people and that's their problem and it's not mine. Um, my masculinity is secure in who I am and in not in my parts. Um, that said, I do know that it's something that people get really insecure about, and it's something that I still worry about sometimes. There are definitely days where I, you know, I'll sit down like this and strategically place my hands to block the fact that I don't have that part, um, I don't have a bulge, but then I always catch myself and I think, no, Skylar, stop. You have worked too hard and too long to be exactly who you are and exactly where you are, and so I move my hand back here and I sit like this. And that's something that I've worked really hard to do is to just be really secure in who I am without other people's valid validation and even with the fear of other people because I think oftentimes actually it's my fear that stops me more so than anybody else's actual judgment of me because the reality in how I see it is people don't actually care a whole lot about what other people are doing. Um, if they do, that's kind of their thing, but for the most part, people are pretty egocentric and they walk around their lives with them being the center of their world. And whether or not I have a penis or what's in my pants when I'm getting in the pool, on the pool deck, it's really not particularly relevant to them. Um, on the pool deck or really ever, but specifically on the pool deck. Uh, and I think that we often think that everybody's out to get us and they think that, that everybody's gonna think that we're trans and have some sort of judgment about it. And sure, there are people like that. But I think for the most part, people don't think about it. And then people are like, okay, well, you know, forget the packing thing, fine, people think that you're small, what about your scars? Doesn't that give you away? And people don't. So I have my mastectomy scars. And actually the most common comment about that is, dude, what happened to your chest, man? Like, what, did you get bit by a shark? And sometimes I'll be like, yeah. And they'll be like, whoa. And they'll believe me. <laughs> I've even had people on this account ask me that. Beyond that, they'll think that I've had lung surgery or heart surgery. And I, heart surgery is not really possible because that's this way. But there is lung surgery that I've been recently informed that goes this way. So it could be that. But my point is that people don't assign my scars or my empty or small penis bulge speedo <laughs> to me being trans. I don't have trans stamped all over my chest even though I think that I do. Um, and all of this is to say that when I walk around the world, um, oftentimes I am my own biggest critic. And I think a lot of us are our own biggest critic. And I've been really challenging myself recently to be my own biggest supporter, my own best friend. And I, in turn, want to challenge you all to do the same. Um, not everybody is out to get us, especially us trans kids. Uh, not everybody is trying to figure out if we're trans or has a judgment about whether we're trans. Most people don't care. And I think it's really important for us to know that and think about that so that we can move through our lives without walking around being fearful of things that just aren't even true. That people just don't care about. Obviously, this isn't to say that there are no hateful people, <laughs> like those people do exist, but it's, it's more to say that most people when you walk around the world are not out to get you, and, um, and I think it's really important to sort of remember that and try to take away some of that fear, uh, while still being safe and, and conscientious of, of what's going on around you, of course. Either way, I challenge you to stand up tall in exactly who you are, whether that be in a Speedo um, on the pool deck, or maybe it's your soccer uniform, your basketball uniform on the field, on the court, uh, in a dress at work, in a suit at work, or just in your sweatpants at home, Stand up tall, be proud of who you are, and learn how to be your own best friend. Okay, <laughs> rant is over now. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you have a fantastic day and fantastic rest of your summer.